Hello everyone and good day. My name is David Moradian. I am the state representative for the awesome town of Grafton and I love to take part in Community Reading Day. I love seeing all of the uh, voices that come out to read to our youth. Unfortunately, uh, we have to do it remotely, but that doesn't mean that we're stopping. We obviously want to show our support to you all. Know that reading and engagement and involvement is such a big part of our community and I'm excited to be here today. I want to thank everyone for inviting me and extend the opportunity for me to read. Uh, so as your state representative, I get to go to Boston, to Beacon Hill, to do all the voting on things that affect Massachusetts. And in the Commonwealth, there's 160 state representatives. So I get to represent about 42 or 43,000 people. And I'm lucky enough to represent not only Grafton, but the towns of Northbridge and Upton as well. So they're right next door. And with that, I get to go in every two years is the election. And I get to go in and for, I'm very fortunate to be your voice, to be able to fight for the things that matter to you all and to your families and to our district and our communities. So I fight for you know, better schools and more funding so you can have you know, the, the resources and the tools that you need to succeed. I fight to make sure our public safety officials have the necessary equipment that they need so that they can keep our streets and our towns and our, our, you know, our, our families safe. And so I fight for you know, things that matter. I want to make sure that everyone can get out there and can have a wonderful opportunity in this great country that we are able to call home. So it's a real pleasure to be here today. And I get the opportunity, because it's kind of right up my alley, to read to you if I had your vote, and it's by the one and only Cat in the Hat, Dr. Seuss. So I'm going to get started right now. If I had your vote, oh, the things I could do. Oh, the things I could do with a yes vote from you. If I had your vote, and if I were in charge, I would make a few changes, some small and some large. If I had your vote and a fun, fun, fun staff, and not just a staff, but a staff and a half, I would have my fun staff fill the fridge with fun foods, like hot dogs and cakes that make fun feeling moods. If I had your vote, I would really prefer this office to be far more ovaler er. Thing one and thing two would know just what to do to square up this room and re-oval it through. If I had your vote, I would smile and smile and sit very still for a very long while. The painters would paint me from morning till night to get every inch of my smiler just right. If I had your vote, I would sign all these bills with ink and a pen made from stick you pine quills. These bills would become laws, and those laws, with some luck, would now and for always say, stickity stuck. If I had your vote, I could be on TV with all these pointy things pointing at me. I would be in your house. You could all see my face. You could all see my face even from way out in space. If I had your vote, I would take all these books and sort them by smell and hook them on hooks so that all you would need is your nose, beak, or snout to sniff out a title and check a book out. I wonder what this kind of book is about. If I had your vote, I would paint this whole place. These cases, these vases, these boots, and their laces. And all these tall walls with their unfunny faces. But as for this room, I would leave it alone. That hat on his head looks a lot like my own. If I had your vote, and these plates and old bowls, for fun, I would put them on top of these poles 
and twirl them and swirl them around and around until they stop spinning and fall to the ground. But no need to panic or worry, you see, the new ones I pick will be perfect for me. If I had your vote, I would meet other leaders who happen like me to be quite messy eaters. Oh, how we would eat. We would eat, 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 eat with our scorks and our floons and our hands and our feet. If I had your vote, I would plant far more flowers and trim these high hedges for hours and hours. Then shower the flowers with water I take from this splishy and splashy and fishy-free lake. If I had your vote and some almost hatched eggs with shells up to the top and the bottom half legs, those long-legged eggs would not be a batch of eggs you could catch before they all hatch. If I had your vote, Every night in the sky would look like it looks like the 4th of July. Kabooms of all colors, like pink, blue, and red, would spark up the dark in the sky overhead. And right at the end, I would send up a socket, a socket the size of a space shuttle rocket. The socket would soar and kaboom in the sky, then socks of all sizes would fall from up high. If I had your vote, I could hire a crew, a clean-it-all crew, that would clean this house through. Thing one would wipe windows, thing two would scrub chairs, and a little cat would shampoozle the stairs. Then little cat B, all the way to cat Z, would sweep every speckle of dirt they could see. With one final touch-up from little cat Q, this not-so-new house would look newer than new. If I had your vote, that is what I would do. The country would love me, I think. How about you? So this was a wonderful reading on someone who goes to the White House and becomes President of the United States. Now, I'm not quite on that level yet, but I do get to be what I think is the best representative that you have to be your voice in Grafton. And I need your vote, your parents' vote, and everyone's vote so that I can continue doing my job. And I try to do my job for each and every one of you. So again, this is Representative David Moradian, and I was fortunate enough to read If I Had Your Vote.